Okay, now we are connected. We are connected to uh, the live video. Uh, so all our viewers are actually now watching us uh, in, the, in, the, in the video conference. And we can now actually start with um, the quiz. Yeah, so uh, Sandeep will all, uh, not only help us uh, answer the quiz, but also uh, try and, um, you know, uh, collect answers from, from the uh, viewers. Who we have here? So yeah, okay. Pranisha and I will just uh, disappear so that we, we make some space uh, for others. Yeah, okay. Right. Um. There we go. Right. Um. Right. So let's go. Uh, Let's go ahead with the first um, quiz and uh, first question of the quiz. And this is going to be quite quick. We have some uh, uh, 14, 15 questions, and there will be four options. Uh, so, yes, uh, there will be four options for each uh, question of the quiz. And each of the options will also be something to learn from for us, uh, which we'll try and do today. Uh, there will be only one correct answer out of the four options. And here we go with this quiz. Sandeep, you're ready? Yes, I am. Nice. Uh, where was Susima? Susima is online. Uh, has she responded uh, in, in the Facebook live video? No, she hasn't. But she might be already joining uh, during the Facebook live. Okay, right. Pratima, Pratima has joined us in the Facebook live. Uh, we have a couple of other viewers. We have uh, at least some uh, more, or nearly 30 viewers we had a moment ago. So uh, anyone can answer. Uh, they can they can just comment in the video and then you know uh, we'll we'll go ahead with this okay right nice okay um, so Sima is in the Facebook live which nice. is good perfect perfect okay right here goes uh, the first question for us so this is going to be a bit tricky um, we can do this. Uh, let me just make it more uh, uh, fun uh, looking at people here uh, who we all can uh, let me quickly I didn't know how many people how many you know like uh, of us will be joining here today but then uh, we can quickly uh, adapt to what we have here so we have the viewers here and uh, we have a bit of a uh, device to hide uh, confusions that we might have here. Alright, okay. Okay. And then first question. And then the first question will be there. Okay. Nice. Great. Okay, go with the first question. Okay, so the first question is what is radish called? Uh, I don't think we can see the options. Uh, can we get the options? Yeah, we can see the options. We, we, we're seeing the options there. So, yeah, in Nepal, Russia, radish is called A. Lu, B. Lai, C. La, D. Loha. Yes, now we can see the options. Pratima said, Pratima said B. Sonika, Sonika has joined as well. Uh, welcome, Sunika. Sunika said B line. Sushima, uh, Sushima says B line. I mean, uh, you are, uh, people who are in the Zoom uh, connection, they can, they can, uh, you know, just answer. Mutu da asana is you. Ale mukta da chahi thana Zoom me moru pin sa Facebook live hai comment diya hoga. Mangla. Okay. Tada, tada answer last. last yeah, one. answer last because. Uh, if you if you are good in Nepal Vasa, let the others let B, B. others know about it. Tata yeah. always answer right. Like. Big problem. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So actually, like yeah, we, I will ask Tata at the end. So what do you think, Tata? Yeah. What is the correct answer? Tata will answer only uh, when I ask her. That will be a good way yeah. to uh, deal with uh, you know uh, experts and uh, novice learners. So many of our like viewers. Uh, Sonika, Susima, Pratima, Uttara, Tatazu, uh, everyone has answered B, line. So what do you think, Tata? Is, is, is it correct? Rukun Tata, Raman Tata, do you think line wow. is correct? 
ตัวพอไม่เด็กเนาะอ่าอย่าอีกคนวอชินเฟซบุ๊กไลฟ์ตาตาเฟซบุ๊กไลฟ์มาซะอ่าไอ้ดาซะซอลซอลคอมเมน
But if it was ka, ka would be a hen or a fowl, right? Uh, we will discuss that. We discussed that earlier as well when you, when you said un ka for dafe, and the kun would be like a thief. Uh, kon is kon is quite popular, isn't it? Like a quota. In the, in the other word is quota. We hit on people's head with with our uh, middle finger <laughs> finger <laughs> bent, right? So that is kon, a very popular uh, Newa we weapon. That's what they say. Okay, nice. Uh, so let's move ahead with this then. Um, okay. The third question will be in Nepal Basha, cucumber is called. Read the read the options, uh, Sandy. Yep. Yeah, so cucumber. Uh, okay, I am actually watching Facebook Live, and there is a little bit of a lag. So let the options be there, because I think it will be good timing as well. Yeah. Okay. For the for our viewers. Okay, so what is cucumber called? Uh, amasi, Fossi, Santarasi, Tusi. <laughs> nice one, Sandy. Yeah, people can see you when you talk, yeah? Nice. Yeah. And I will ask the answer to Raman Raman Tata and Rukmin Tata at the end, when everyone at had the answered. End, yeah, okay, when you close, yeah. Nice, nice. Because our two Tatas are experts today. Today, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you are experts. Judges, yeah, judges, correct. Yeah, dog like. <laughs> nice. So, how many D's? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my God, eight D's, huh? Already. Nice. Okay. Correct. 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 Okay. Nice. Okay. So, uh, what do you think, Tatas? Uh, Tata and... Uh, yeah, uh, tushi, tushi. This is correct, yeah, right? Okay. Yeah, okay. Prabhat Shrestha has also answered that. We've got nine Ds and also two more from Raman Tata and Rukun Tata. Perfect. So, yeah, in Nepal, Basha, cucumber is called Tusi. Uh, tusi and then uh, Amasi is Guava or Amba. And Fossi is Farsi or Pumpkin. Uh, Santarasi, I think we learned this earlier, didn't we, Sandeep? Santarasi, yes, Santarasi is okay. This is a quiz again. What was Santarasi we learned earlier? It was a fruit, right? Uh, uh, orange, orange, yeah, like Suntala. Mm. In, in Suntala, Suntala is in Khatwas, Nepali. Santarasi is in like Sanskrit and Nepal, Vasha, yeah, I think it's Santarasi. Okay, so now nice, we just reminded. Okay, let's move on to the next question, which is in Nepal, Vasha, corn C O R N is called. Uh, answers, please. Uh, op answer options, please, Sandeep. Yeah, once it loads. And by the uh, meanwhile, let me also welcome our Joint Secretary, Anil Morzan, and uh, our supporter, Rosina Padanji, has also joined. Rosina Padanji, uh, welcome, for, welcome to the food quiz today. Okay, so the uh, options are... Uh, I, I Maybe, forgive me if I'm pronouncing this wrong. Uh, Sandeep, it, Sandeep, if, Sandeep if, it, if there are two A's, I said earlier in the last class as well, if there are two A's, it is A. If it is single A, it is A. Okay? That's yes, it. okay. So, yeah. Noni, Zoni, Koni, Bohoni. A, Noni, B, Zoni, C, Bohoni, D, Bohoni. What is the... Right, please write down the answers in the comment. Okay, so Susima, our uh, most attended uh, student has said C, Sonika Ji has said C, Patima Ji also C. Uttaratha is also C. Uttaratha is also C already. I will always go after yeah. Uttaratha is C. Sylvia, 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 Sylvia. Kuladar C. Really? Okay. C. Kani. Oh, okay. So many C's. Right. See, so my home is in Songkhamul. And uh, you know, in the Bangla Mukhi uh, bridge, <laughs> so you can't go answer suppose only C one, sir. Nice, mm. okay, yeah, correct answer is C. Connie, uh, okay, yeah. so, uh, is it C? Connie, C, C, uh, C, 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 C
ko and bisarga uh, or kalun uh, that is ko, longer ko okay kani right okay uh, so kani is corn our tata has also uh, judged it verified it kani for corn in nepal bhasha bahani is like in the evening after uh, this night time isn't it after the sunset uh, jani is what we uh, tie uh, around our waist uh, the white uh, generally the white lighter color uh, um, you know uh, fabric the clothes that we tie around our waist the men do jani and uh, nani nani is a certain type of place isn't it uh, pra uh, pra uh, pranisha uh, i think she can uh, explain this nani like lakh nani is a place uh, right nani yeah thanani so these are like certain types of places uh, we'll talk about places later why these places have different names right okay okay uh, i think uh, that was a good one so let's move ahead with this sandeep yeah okay next yes. question is okay sandeep let's go ahead with the question in nepal bhasha broad beans is called options okay so uh, i will i will be able to see once our audience can see because i'm on facebook live uh, just a minute let the options load and then i will uh, i will give you the options anil anil has helped me okay okay so broad beans option a bakala uh, b takhala c bachala and d gangala perfect You see, Sandeep, you are getting better in reading Nepal Bhasha now. That is also something we need to, like, that's a skill, isn't it? Reading, not only like learning and writing. Reading is also a skill, and I think we need it. Yeah. Prabhas Shrestha is saying something in the comment. Ah, she's trying her best. Nice. She's saying, I don't speak Nepali, Nepal Bhasha, but I do understand a little bit, so I'm trying my best. Perfect. That's what we need to do. Like this class is just to try out more and learn from each other. I think, uh, yeah. My connection seems to be a bit a bit unstable now, so I will wait for this. Okay. So we have uh, we have different answers this time. This yeah. is like all A's. Okay, again, how many A's we've got? Too many. It's too many to count here. Yeah. Okay. So most of our viewers are going okay. to A. Rosina, uh, Rosina G is going with D. We got mixed answers actually. You are right. Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what we we need to do. Like we need to correct ourselves. We need to, we need to get some yeah. wrong answers and to understand what is correct. Yeah. yeah. I'm so glad Kiran Dai is also in today. He's our executive. All of them uh, is the right answer. Uh, Rosina Pradhan Rai Boyni D Ralka. Yeah. Ah. So, uh, Rukmini Tata and Ramini Tata, uh, according according to you, what is the correct answer for this? Uh, A. Bakala, B. Takala. Correct answer is yeah. Correct answer is A. Bakula. Okay. Ramani, yeah. Ramini Tata isn't isn't here now. Ramini Tata is disconnected. Uh, but people can see you now, Rukmini Rukmini Tata. So nice. Yeah. So, so we all agreed now. Bakala. Is the Nepal Bhasha word for broad beans? Uh, the other options we have are incorrect, but let's quickly learn about them as well in like five seconds each. Takhala is. I, I think Sweet. we learned this earlier, didn't we? Yeah, in the class earlier we did this. Takhala is the jellied meat. Uh, batala batala is name of a month. When we studied about time, we studied this. Uh, Katala batala batala is the name of the month in Nepal Bhasha. And Kangala, Kangala is actually you know what is Kangala? It's interesting. Um, you must have heard of this word Kunguru, right? Kunguru in uh, Hindi it comes from Hindi and also in Khasvasa Nepali Kunguru. Uh, you tie it, uh, you know, uh, like like the pauzu and all that. So women they tie it uh, around lower part of their leg, right? Kunguru when they dance. So the, in classical dance they tie this. And it's got it's got small, uh, uh, you know, uh, bells, and that in Nepal Bhasha is Kangala. Uh, even Lakhe wears it, and and many of the traditional dances. Okay, let's go ahead with the next question then. The next question is in Nepal Bhasha, wheat grain. This is interesting now. It is going to get more and more fun as well as tougher and harder. Okay, Sandeep, Are you yes. Finished? Yeah. Okay. In Nepal Bhasha, wheat grain is called. Answers, please, Sandeep. Yeah, so 
A Okay, okay. So I'm going to take over with the options. Uh, A, Seaboji, B, Musia, C, Boji, D, Chusia. Chusia. Perfect. Sandeep, you're getting really good in uh, reading the Balbasa now. I'm quite impressed. So yeah, Seaboji, A, Seaboji, B, Musia, C, Boji, D, Chusia. When there is CH, we will say CHA. When there is C double H, we will do it CHA. Okay? So D CHUSIA. So Nikaji is saying okay. D CHUSIA. I know her mom is like expert in Nepal Basha. So I hope she is not cheating. <laughs> I, I, I trust she is she's, she's good as well. Equally. So Fatima, Sonika, uh, Susima, Sylvia Ji, Rosina, uh, Sylvia Ji, they all are going with D this time. Wait for two, uh, five more seconds, ten seconds for yeah. more answers. Yeah. See, Uttara Tadaju is cheating from Kiran Dai sir. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kiran Dai, don't teach, don't, don't help Uttara Tadaju. <laughs> I know Kiran Dai. My friend good. has also joined. Uh, where is he? Where is his answer? Who's Rikesh Man Dongol? Wow, we've got yes, a new viewer. He's my friend. He's my oh, really? friend. Rikesh, what is the answer? Come on. Rikesh Man Dongol joined us in our Gucci picnic oh, that nice, rainy day. Nice. Oh, yeah, yeah. Came very, they came late, came didn't they? Late. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he's very interested. We'll have to bring him in the Gucci now. Oh, yeah, everyone is already in. Yeah, we don't need yeah. to bring his open okay. doors. <laughs> nice. So, yeah, what do you think, Rukmin Tata and Raman Tata? Uh, I'm just uh, connecting mm -hmm. you in Zoom now here. Rukmin Tata? Yeah, um, the answer is Shusia. Shusia. Did you say Chusia or Musia? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is interesting yeah. now. Rikesh is also saying A. Rosina, Rikesh is saying A. Everyone else is D. So everyone versus Rikesh now. Okay, nice. I like this. Okay. In Nepal, Russia, wheat grain is called Syabazi, Musia, Bazi, Chusia. Most of the answers were D, Chusia. And uh, Rukmin Tata has also uh, confirmed it is Chusia. So I will actually go with Rukmin Tata and all of our viewers. So wheat grain is uh Chusia for me and um what are the other options here so siabaji we know we've done this puffed rice earlier didn't we rukmintada in one of our ways you i think in moni way rukmintada brought some puffed rice yeah and what was siabaji siabaji and then uh Chusia is already wheat grain we agreed baji baji we all know it is rice flake it is rice flake or um uh, it is rice flake or uh, beaten rice. Yeah, it's bhaji. It's very popular. Dao bhaji and bhaji and all that. Musia. Musia is the black beans, isn't it? We uh, Musia is quite popular in uh, our uh, Samme bhaji and all. So black beans, black fried beans is uh, Musia. And if you guys remember, you know like uh, Chusia Musia, right? In many of the Neva rituals, we have Chusia Musia together. Wheat, wheat grains and uh, uh, black beans together. Uh, we give it in many, um, you know, offerings. Also, like for um, bara pikao and all that, right? Women, are, the uh, girls are given this. In many rituals, chusia musia is uh, used together. Uh, it's also funny, like we have got chusia bahal, chusia baha, and musia baha in in Nepal, in Kathmandu around, if you remember. So yeah, nice. Uh, musia is black beans. Chusia is wheat grain. Uh, Siabaji and bazi we already covered. Okay, let's move on with the next. Question then, nice. Sorry, Rikesh, for this time, but yeah, better luck in the next question. So the next question is in Nepal Bhasha, bitter melon, bitter melon, or karela, as we know in Hindi and Khasbas in Nepali, karela, or in English bitter melon. It is in Nepal Bhasha. It is called options. Sandeep will go with the readings. Ah, this is uh, this is challenging. This is confusing. Okay, yes. option A, Kara Cha. Option B, Koki Cha. Option C, Kaka Cha. Koko Cha. Option D, Kola Cha. Okay, yeah, I did a small mistake there. I should have double A's in the first option, end of the first word. Kara Cha. Kara Cha. A. B is. Kokicha, 
Men ka dada helped me with this last night. These these confusing options. Uh, option C is Coca uh, Coca Tsa. Option C is Coca Tsa. Option D is Cola Tsa. It's fine. I like your mistake, but because people are choosing different options. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the answers are coming in. Look at the answers, Sandi. Yeah, yeah. Lots of C. I saw a B as well. Sonika Ji said B. Hey, okay, okay. Done, done. I'm uh, done. Oh, done. Okay, done. Thanks. So, so mostly C. Kiranda is saying C. Pratima is saying C. Sonika is saying C. Mostly C now. I don't know. Don't believe in anyone. Just give the answers. Rikesh, don't don't get influenced, yeah? I know you you kind of one man. <laughs> You know, yeah. The case is also saying C now. Oh. Sandeep, give a guess yourself. Don't get influenced. Yeah, I'm going with C as well. We have 23 people uh, live today. Just now, let's let's get some more answers. Yeah. A is four. What is four? A is pan. Maybe she's saying pan. He's saying pan. Oh, pan, pan. Okay, okay. See, now I'm pronouncing like Nepal, right? Nepal, you know, because oh, A is O. A is O, so N is nasal sound. <laughs> but he's just saying pan. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I'm just guessing. Okay. Karela or bitter melon in Nepal, Russia is called Karanza, Kokitsa, Kokatsa, Kalatsa. Okay. Rukman Tata? Hmm? This is in time. This is in time. Okay, people can see you here. Okay, yeah. So I'm connected. Number C. Number C. Okay, they both are for Thai Kokaza, right? C. Okay, so we'll go with the right, correct answer, which is Kokaza, which is Karela. Uh, now, what about the other uh, three more incorrect uh, Nepal Vasa words? Um, so, Kharaatsa is like in Khas uh, Vasa Nepali Kharayo, a small, uh, you know, life. We, we love them and we add Tsa. So, Kharaatsa is Kharayo or rabbit. Uh, Kokitsa, Kokitsa is interesting. Kokitsa is Kanyo or Kom, right? Um, and Kalaatsa would be, guess. Yes, Kala, Kala is wife. Kala is wife, so Kala Tsa is like mm. the loved wife. Yeah? Okay. Uh, so, Koka Tsa is Karela. That's correct. Sometimes wife are also bitter. <laughs> so, it's fine. Okay, uh, now let's, let's uh, move on to the next question, which is in Nepal Vasha. This is interesting now. In Nepal Vasha, bread, bread is called options A, B, C, D. Sandeep is going to read. Yeah. You can see you, Sandeep. Go on. Okay, so what is bread called? Option A, Mori. Option B, Madhi. Option C, Mari. Or option D, all of the above. I think even I can, I, I know this answer because okay, of all the you know, comment, comment. food that we eat. Let's, keep, let's uh, have it on record, Sandeep. I have an answer. <coughs> drop, drop, drop your bomb. <laughs> comment, comment, put a comment. Okay, okay. People are commenting. People are commenting. Uh, I think, yeah, Sonika Ji got the last one, last saying B, and now she's saying A for this one, which is, I think. So, ladies and gentlemen, huh? we told the quiz is going to be more and more tougher, as I said. And the first, previous, the first seven questions were prepared by were suggested by uh, our uh, Joint Secretary Anil Mohazan, who is like uh, hiding from the Zoom video today and is also only available in the uh, Facebook video. Uh, he, he's watching us. Uh, so Anil gave me a list of words of food and I added the options. They're quite simple. But now from here onwards, the questions are made by me. So it might be a bit tricky. Let's go on with this now. In Nepal, Basha, bread is called 
Madi, Madi, Mari, all of above. Okay. Yeah. So getting some mixed, mixed answers. answers. Which is yeah. Good. That's what. Well, that's what I want to see. Yeah. Maybe you can even type all the breads that you know. <laughs> Sandy, all the breads. Sa- Sandy, we eat. Sandy, did you comment? Did you comment your answer in the video? Actually. Can you do that now? Yeah. You know, we have already uh, discussed about this uh, in the video, in the theory, in the class, in the class earlier today. And if anyone listened to people talking in the class earlier today. They should know the answer. Hmm. We are getting different types of bread. <laughs> Amita Tata is saying bread is called powder tea. Absolutely right. <laughs> no. The bread which is made by, uh, you know... Uh, Stamping your legs would be powder tea because it's made by pow. Pow is leg, right? <laughs> and that's how breads were made by stamping your feet on it on the dough uh, in India, in Calcutta. That's where uh, Rasganika, Krishna Rasganika learned it from uh, Calcutta. He came back to Kathmandu uh, near my hometown in Naksal and, and in Hatisar and he started Krishna powder tea. You know? That's oh, the okay. That's the that's, that's, that's powder tea. It was made by uh, feet. Stamping feet. Uh, and I love no Krishna machine. Power. I used to have the whole loaf all by myself. <laughs> okay, let's get the answer then. Okay, Pranisaji, what is the answer then? What is the answer? Can yeah, you help us? Uh, I think it's all of above. Mm. Okay, so Pranisaji, our expert, call cell secretary, Le all of the above. So, okay. Rukman Dada, Ramani Dada, all of the above answer. Maria Dai, this is not Maria Dai. Ah, Maria Maria Dai. Ah, okay. Maria Dai. Without further ado. Maria Chakuti, yeah, Maria Chakuti. Yeah, you know, Maria Chakuti. Your Maria Chata Maria and all the Maris that we know. Ah, uh, Maria, 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 Maria Chapanne and all that is we we used as example in the earlier classes, but I gave you a hint earlier. Uh, you know, uh, I said like if anyone listened to people talking in the uh, in this video earlier when the class was being uh, carried out, you know, uh, they would know. Okay, so I said Mari, and uh, our dear friend Sushil, he was saying Mari. Remember, mm. he said, Chuchu, Chuchu. Uh, he said like these these doughs, dough balls are to make Mari. That's what he said, right? So that is Kopa dialect. In uh, Kopa, uh, they say Mari. Uh, they even add her in between. Mari. Mari. Yeah. They, you can add her sound in between. Mari. 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 And in olden days, it was Madi. Da, instead of, because we didn't have a raw, right? There's no raw, raw sound in Nepal Vasha earlier. So mainly, like uh, as I said, like Rani was Lani, right? Isilani. Uh, I've explained this earlier. Now, yeah. So Madi. You know, even from the time of Sanskrit languages, uh, uh, Madhi is now Mari, Mari, Mari. They're all correct. So, we should go with the correct answer, which is all of above, D. So, I don't need to explain all these words now because they are correct. Sandeep? Yeah, let's go to the next question. No, let's show your face. <laughs> Remember this now, <laughs> all of the above. <laughs> Perfect. Let's go with the other one now. I just wanted you to comment so that you'll never forget this. <laughs> nice. Because like we can forget our successes, we'll never forget our failures. Okay? So make mistakes. Uh, the next question is, which muddy cannot be eaten? I've discussed this earlier in the previous class. This is my favorite one. Which muddy cannot be eaten? Options by Sandy. ABCD. Wow, this is a curve of the ball. Okay, I'm sure uh, our audience will get this right. Which mori cannot be eaten? Option A, yomari. Option B, how do you say, chuchu mori? 
Okay. Because you guys are saying wow. Very interesting question. Sutumari, Guaramari, or Yamari. So much of the table option. Ah, but which cannot be eaten? Which can be eaten, Mahuki? Gugu Mori say name of you. Mail two options, there, Mauga. Mail options, there. Last option, there, none of the above. When none of the above, I will say, I will. ถ้าเดี๋ยวเมื่อใจโทรเนมอยู่ปฏิมรีตรงนี้อ๋อเอาเดี๋ยวมาดูเลยเวลาเนมอยู่ใจมรีกูขอกันท่านเนียนเนีย
so yeah none of the above but i think um, we should also acknowledge uh, the uh, amazing answer that sonika uh, delivered today she said chuchumari is not cooked so it cannot be eaten oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah but you have it pranisha you have one with you <laughs> and she's called isha <laughs> and anyway so um, let's go on with the next question then and this is going to be now tougher and tougher and tougher on the day of gunpuni gunpuni on the day of gunpuni gunla is one of the months uh, in 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 nepal sambat calendar uh, we've discussed this earlier when we learned about time gunpuni is the puni is a full moon night of uh, the month of gunla so gunpuni on this day which food item is eaten enjoyed you know? Okay, let's have the options. There's no options. <laughs> there's no options. See, I see. I'm someone who needs options now. <laughs> because because there's no option in this. Because if I give the option, everyone will know it uh, right there. So we won't give the options in this one. You have to okay. give an answer. Okay. Great. It's one of those. If you know, you know. Yeah. <laughs> On the month of Gunpuni, what item? What which food item is eaten? Okay, Manish Ji has one answer. I don't know if it's true or not. There are many festivals, and uh, we eat many uh, item, many food items in many of the festivals. Your Madi is eaten war. Some people also call bara, but it is war. Flattened uh, uh, lentil. Uh, burger, burger. <laughs> flattened this. Uh, It is war is eaten on a certain day, right? Um, Yomari is eaten on a certain day. So on Gunpun, okay. which item is eaten? We are getting answers now, actually, and our joint secretary also gave a big hint, a big representation on our AGM. Yeah, because okay. our AGM is usually on that same day. Another big hint. And our <laughs> annual magazine, our annual magazine, if anyone has around. It has got the whole yeah. article on that month. Yeah. That Anil has written. So see, if I would have added an answer, then everyone would be like jumping on. Yeah, and look how how uh, hardworking our judges are. Rukmane Dada has read the comment and she is confirming that the previous <laughs> answer for the previous question, Katamari, <laughs> is right. <laughs> If I say Kota Mari, then comment, everyone is comment. Comment, no, be love, go yeah. yeah everyone's uh, gonna, uh, everyone, everyone's, everyone's gonna, gonna pick Kota Mari if I said Kota Mari, isn't it? Kota Mari. Yeah. So yeah. Why na? Prati maale bani ne? Koi answer hai chahiye na bani ko na le ki podi ekde ko ni maile. Yeah. We are looking for the contestant bata, why na? Sorry, sorry. Hmm. Yeah. So do we have answers from everyone now? Susima has also said. Uh, so we haven't actually pronounced the answer in the video yet, <laughs> so that. People won't actually know without reading it. IQ tension होता है उगा IQ tension होगा कोटा मरी होती है IQ option में भी शेम मतलब मनोटेट तो IQ tension हो गुल्ते को so not not less दुरिया so अमिता स्वेश्वर जी अमिता तो जाजी saying क्वाटी राजन मोहरजन जी who I've just seen answering he's saying क्वाटी and Sony कमांडर she's of course saying also क्वाटी also and she's saying क्वाटी Comma, also known as Kwati Puni. So Gun Puni is also known as Kwati Puni, is what she is claiming. Sushima mm-hmm. is saying Kwati. Uh, Pratima Isha is saying Kwati. Rikesh Man Dongol. Rikesh, are you honestly saying Kwati, or are you just being influenced by all the answers? <laughs> okay, uh, nice. So, um, so on the day of Gun Puni, which food item is eaten? Okay, Rukun Tada, Raman Tada. Shall we go with the answer? Ah, what do you call? What do you call? Mala. Okay. So mm-hmm. as Susi, as Sonika uh, rightly said, Gunpuni is is also um, known as Kwati Puni. Kwati Puni, uh, uh, Kwati Puni. Kwati Puni. Chala, chala. So Kwati ne So Kwati and Kwati is Kwati is kind of um, a mixed beans uh, and uh, different kind of beans are mixed. Seven eight different kind of you know, beans are mixed and um, it's it's a kind of you know. Gungu wata kwanti te gungu wata chai beans ta misai na te le gungu ni te ka ba gungu ni wana dai kla so kwa is hot ki is uh, soup 
and it is also like hot soup, so kwati. Right? So this is how we're learning Nepal Basha. It's fun. Okay, let's move on to the next question. We are almost towards the end of this quiz. Uh, and it's going to go, get tougher and tougher. Is what I promise. What is the name of this Newa cuisine? Sandeep, I want you to come. Is it a photo? Is it a photo? Yes, there is a photo. Well, there is no option, option. there is a photo. Okay. Okay. It, it, it so we don't in. need any option then, right? Yeah. No yeah, Facebook is wrong. Sandeep, I want you to yeah. comment the answer. So Facebook yeah. Go. yeah, I will I will check the answers. It, oh, okay, okay, okay. It, uh, I know this. Is Rosina G mm -hmm. uh, online? Rosina, Rosina G is still connected, I don't know. It looks similar. It looks similar to. It looks similar to the shape. Looks similar to Yomari, but the color doesn't. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Let's have this answer. This is one of my favorite. Actually, I already probably put the answer in the very beginning of this class. And by the way, the price of this has gone up dramatically in Nepal. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so and you can answer in the comment, please. No, no, I already answered in the comment a long time ago. But Where? let other people answer. Before I even asked? <laughs> no, that's not fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, Susil Daita was saying his favorite is... Uh, uh, what was he? Sanya, Sanya Kuni. He said his favorite food is... Sanya Kuna. And yeah. I said, Sanya Kuna. And then I said, this, this is my favorite food. Oh, okay. There's history in this food item, you know. I am here, sir. 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 Oh, answer one year, no. Oh, <laughs> answer one year, no. no. <laughs> okay, okay, let's go with this now. Yeah. So, okay, okay, let's go with this. <laughs> we are, we are. Look, 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 and uh, Pratima, um, Pratima, she's not given the answer, but she's saying Sandeep already said. <laughs> okay, so she's not going to repeat this now. Okay, uh, Raz, Razan Mohan is saying, is it true this food is filled with tisya and cooked? Question. Yeah. So I'm going to pretend I'm the chef <laughs> and uh, and try and answer this. Um, yeah, so Sapu Micha is, uh, as, as Rukmudala has also confirmed, already given the answer out. Sapu Sorry, Micha. Eh? Sapu Micha is the correct answer. No, that's fine. We almost choose the end. So Sapu Micha uh, is the correct answer. Micha, you know what Micha means in Nepal Basha? It means pocket. Yeah, it's a small bag. Like, like a thaili, right? Micha. There's also a brand in Nepal now, a new brand of uh, manufacturing bags, which is called Micha bags. Very popular in, among youth. So, uh, Nisa is um, pocket. Uh, when the mobile f phones first came uh, to <laughs> Nepal, when the mobile first uh, mobile phones first came, um, it could be put in, uh, in the pocket. So they called it uh, Nisa Yaba, pocket phone. Uh, so Nisa is uh, pocket, uh, and uh, Sapu Sapu is uh, the compartment in the stomach. Is a layer. Is a different layer in the stomach, in the, in the belly. Right of of uh, these four foot animals, so um, we are so fond of all the goat meat and uh, buffalo and all that. So that belly compartment, fried. That's, uh, that's also like a pocket, so it's called sapumicha. Okay, nice. Uh, so let's go ahead with the next question. We're almost towards the end, you know. Uh, Amitaji is saying, sorry, I put Sukumicha. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, Dakumicha. <laughs> nice, Sapumicha. Fine. So, the next question has options now. Uh, the next question, we are almost towards the end now. Some more patience. In Nepal Basha, minced meat is called options by somebody. 
Okay, so what is minced meat called? Or or maybe kima, isn't it? Yeah, the other yeah. word, uh, Asian word, is kima. So he is option A. Uh, option B is swapuka. Option C he is nopu, and option B is tunla. Okay, aunt is already starting to rain in the comment section. That's lovely. Let's keep it coming. We have 21 attendees, so we should get at least half responses. Yes, yes, Amitadatta, you spelled it correctly this time. Yes. After lockdown, we need to cook all of these and then, you know, we need to invite each other and eat. You should be the first person, Sandeep. Let's see. <laughs> you should start. See, I don't know how to cook it, so I'll be the, I'll be the guest happily. Mm. And you make this room, yeah? <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. Um, many answers directed to the same one. The last, uh, many of them has gone for D. Let's have a look. Lots of D's there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Razan Maharajanji is asking an interesting question. Razan Maharajanji is asking, what is the option C? Nyapu, Nyapu, Nyapu. Oh, Nyapu, Nyapu. Why is Pratima not giving answers? She's like always mirror opposite, mirror response, Saab Mata. What's Saab? Just type a letter. No, no, she's a saying I've responded to everything. Okay. So okay. Type a letter A or B or C or D. Yeah, yeah, just type letter. Oh, Kiran, uh, Kiran, Dai, Kiran Dai has given the uh, answer as well as Kiran Dai has answered Razan Morrison's question. Razan Morrison yeah. asked us, what is that option C? And then uh, Kiran Morrison has answered, C is brain. Nyapu is brain. That's what Kiran Dai is saying. But uh, we won't confirm. <laughs> there is still time. We won't give the answers out. I told you Kiran Dai is like pure non vegetarian. You won't like my <laughs> mm. Okay, let's let's go with this then. Uh we're towards the end now in Nepal Basha. Minced meat is called Tohi Swampuka Nyapu Tsuna. Yes, there is a spelling mistake. Nyapu C V N H Y A Nyapu. Yeah. So catch. Most of the answers are D. Uh, what do you think? What do you think? Rukun Tata and Raman Tata, you are live now. D, yeah. D, D, Chula, Chula. Chula. Yeah. I remember this question when I was making it because uh, after 15 years uh, of coming from Nepal, I never had Chula. And when I went to Rukun Tata's house uh, early this year, she, she gave me some Chula. She reminded me my mom, she used to make chula. So, yeah, minced meat is chula, as our Tata has confirmed, which is option D. Chu is like, uh, you, you, you did that chu chu, right? Chu is like all bits, isn't it? Bits and uh, small uh, granular uh, kind of the sense, right? Chu. Chula is like your minced meat. Yeah? Um, so, chula, lies meat anyway, isn't it? We did this earlier. I, I gave options of chuela, kachila, and all that. But then tuna is the minced meat. Okay. Uh, then nyapu is brain, as as uh, Kiranda is already confirmed. Nyapu. So like the newas, they do not leave any part of the animal, uh, and they they savor, <laughs> they they enjoy every part of the animal. They are like they are also pure non veg like uh, Kiranda is. So nyapu is brain. They they boil and they fry uh, the brain, and it is uh, considered tasty. Okay. And then uh, B, uh, B, swampuka, swampuka uh, for B is lungs. The lungs and anim of animals is filled with uh, flour and all that, and then it is fried into pieces. And it is also considered very tasty. It is swampuka in Nepal, in Khaswas Nepali, Fokso, Tariko, and all that, Puteko, and all that. And then um, the other option A, what we had there was um, uh, Tsuohi. So yeah, my mom used to cook this, and I discussed this earlier last night with Rukman Tata. What exactly it is called in Khasbasa Nepali? It is also called rakati, or ragati. Oh, so, okay, yeah. Yeah, ragati. that is tohi. Uh, what we do is like even the blood, 
they 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 make jelly the jelly uh, in in a, in, a, in a jelly form of the blood uh they you know like add spices and they make a cuisine which is called sohi or ragati jelly blood yeah and it is supposed to be <clears throat> quite healthy and all that that's a newa cuisine so that's newa cuisine for you all the different kind of foods that we discussed today let's go with something oh. vegetarian now is too much non too much non vegetarian anil our joint secretary is going to be uh very unhappy uh, as a vegetarian if you just keep asking this so the almost the last question now just to make anil happy basically i have asked the last question this one is for you anil and ping our uh, uh joint treasurer which of the following is not a green leafy vegetable options by sandeep okay so this is all for, for all of our vegetarians uh option a sakita wow the option disappeared in front of my screen now option b polata option d tukata or option d none of the above right thank you sandeep so our culture secretary pranisha and i keep fighting about what is sag <laughs> different people call the sag with different names and different type of sags have different names in nepal bhasha like in khaswa nepali rai ke sag samsir ke sag palang ke sag and all that sags uh in nepal bhasha as well there are so many sags pol uh, you know um, uh like uh, samsir palung is chasa polu uh, chasa chasa pola uh, and so on now uh which of the following is not a green leafy vegetable is the last question of today's quiz of nepal bhasha class 17 by pasta pasta good you can london and today is a food quiz the last question vegetarian which of the following is which of the following is not a green leafy vegetable option a sakicha or sakicha or as well you can say sakicha my mom says sakicha polata option b so option a is sakicha option b polata option c to kaata option d none of the above what is it guys what is it guys it's a, it's a split between a and d where so, is anil man where is anil <laughs> i uh, hope he is listening yes most of our uh, audience is giving a split answer between a and d okay I mean I'm not going to believe what Kiran Dai says <laughs> because he is a non vegetarian pure. Uh, wow, we have Rasmita Darlami ji also joining. Welcome, welcome. Why are you so shocked? No because I saw the answer first time from her. Okay, really? Yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen her answers before. Her answer is A. Okay. अनिल <laughs> <laughs> In, 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 uh, yeah, one of my friend is Chikwan Sir, so okay. that's why. <laughs> Chikwan is like I think I think um, we learned this earlier, didn't we? Like Sushil showed in his kitchen a big box, yellow box that was oil. <laughs> Chikwan Sir, oh. Chikwan, and only you uh, know, so. Uh, so uh, <laughs> Uh, so she even uh, said barata for bada isn't it that was another cha for peanuts chikata okay answers like the answers this is the last question we're going to finish this now rajan moharjan ji is saying uh may be confused with saki the root vegetable Sakita. 
Sakiza sounds so much <laughs> similar to sad. Sad, 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 sad. Rajanji is having fun today. He's saying Chikatsa is villain in Rajamati movie. Yeah, the villains are always Chikatsa. <laughs> uh, All right, let's reveal the answer then. Let's let's discuss because I think there is a split between A and B. It will make uh, it easy for us to explain it. Is villain, yeah. Tata Aru, Pranisha Ji, hmm. what is the answer? I think answer is yes, Takita. See, this is the last question. This is the last question, and this is probably one of the top questions. Yeah, this is the uh, this is the last question, and this is Takita no order in you lah. This is one of the top questions. So listen. So this is one of the top questions. So we can have a collective answer. We can try and decide yeah. uh, what could be the correct answer. So most of us, uh, most of our viewers, even Kamala uh, Tadazu. No. She said, "Hey, Sakita, 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 Kamala, 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 Parvati and Silvia ji said D. Okay, so yeah, there is a split between none of the other and Sakita. Mm. This is going to be so tough that even I'm confused <laughs> now. Anyway, so there should be an answer. This is as a matter of yeah. fact. So Rukmini Tata, uh, what was your uh, confusion? Rukmini Tata uh, thinks Sak Sakita even has leaves, right? Rukmini Tata. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, so answer. Ah. Sakita. He D, yeah, D, D. 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 So I think uh, radish leaf. Yeah. Yeah, and then leaf will have leaf anyway. So there's no confusion here. I think yeah, Sakicha is also got some green leaf, right? So uh, yeah, I think I think I think D. That's that's how we come to a conclusion. So uh, yeah, I think I think I'm happy with this exercise. Which of the following is not a green leafy vegetable? Sakicha, polata, tukata. None of the above will be now. We will go with. We will now go with. None of the above. None of the above. Mm -hmm. Confused between. Okay, Sakiya Kamala. Sakiya. Kamala ji has interesting comment here. Fakat sir. None of the above. Yeah. Okay. Kamala Tadaji is saying. Uh, uh, Fakata would be green vegetable, but Sakicha is not green. It's only root of it. Ooh. This is this is called intelligence, by the way. Okay. D D. Uh, no, 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 D Did you listen to this? Kamala Tadazu is helping us decide this. Kamala Tadazu is saying, Fakata would be green vegetable, but Sakicha is not green. Uh, Kamala Tadazu says Sakicha is not green. It is a root. Of it, okay. But so uh, but as as Pranisha ji said, uh, like D, as Pranisha the right? uh, as Pranisha ji said earlier, uh, radish leaf is also called sakita. Uh, we we do call sakita. So maybe it's is different in various regions uh, in and around Kathmandu. Uh, what we refer to as uh, as the words, and this is not only uh, the times of difficulty, but this is also a time to enjoy the variety and diversity. <laughs> That's how we would like to con uh, conclude. Every question should have an answer. This question, for this time, we will go with none of the above. So, Sakita, Polata, Tukata are all somewhat green and somewhat leafy vegetables. None of the above, okay? Right. Uh, Amita, that's I think uh, the viewers are getting confused uh, mm. about Sakita. Mm. Ah. Uh, the, uh, the root is called Saki only, not Sakicha. Mm -hmm. And uh, Sakicha means the radish leaf. Mm. Yeah. I yeah. hope uh, everyone is clear now. Nice, nice, oh. nice, nice. Yeah. Sakicha means uh, wheat, wheat leaf, Pranisa. Yeah. yeah. Saki, Saki, Saki is the root part, that's Saki, what she's saying. Sakicha. Definitely answer is D. Okay. 
Yeah, let's let's close this. F for the answer is yeah. D. Right? F for the answer is D. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So th this is this is why we need to have this is why we need to have a panel. This is why we need to have a panel like this to decide uh, to to come to a conclusion. Yeah. Mahajan, uh, Mahajan, okay, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I think this one now. Sakita is similar leafy vegetable like tukanta. Johnny, Johnny leaf? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm, now. I'm, I'm, I'm sure. I'm not confused about this. I made this question. Sakita. And I keep this right with me. Sakita is green and Sakita is also leafy it's vegetable. It's green leaf, yeah, but That's I correct. forgot. That's correct. Which one yeah. is the one? Mm. Right one. Yeah. They just leave the pakata like this. Yeah, here. because radish, 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 uh, turnip, mustard. carrot, and all these have different, different, you know, kind of uh, names, even see. So carrot... Radish, turnip. Imagine the, uh, imagine the richness of the language of Nepal Bhasha. Every this root. These are root vegetables, right? Radish, turnip, potato, and all. These are all roots. But if any of these uh, root vegetables have a leaf, then we have a different name of that leaf. That's how interesting it gets when you start learning a language like Nepal Bhasha, which is very, very rich in itself. Nice. So we should actually now conclude. Uh, it's almost dinner time and it's a bit get, getting a bit late in in london and very very late in nepal uh i'm sure so uh let's get this wrapped up sandeep general secretary yeah sandeep, so thank you this was very interesting I, I i think we should be doing more of these uh thank you to our panelists our experts uh the two lookalike thank you. sisters are Roma, our cultural secretary, Pranisha uh, Sakkizu. Thank you. Our, uh, ever, Thank you. Ever Thank you. President. So, what I want to do, my servant, the Pala, I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to while I am not busy scheduling my money, you will get a girl right. No matter if you get a girl, you will get a girl. 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 You will All businesses are going back. I know. Restaurant, takeaway, or so on. I am not face to face event, live event, but the key. I am not there. Nepali, Neva, Neva, restaurant. I am a sport. So please order takeaways if you are feeling. Lazy to cook, uh, special like a restaurant, sir, Dafe, where he recorded this video. It's in Plum Street, also Red Lion Noodle Park. I'm a um, Nepal restaurant, sir, right? West Ma, Ani Tespati, Monty's, sir, Kingston Ma, Ealing Ma, Ani Monkey Temple, sir, I'm a Bubinder Daka Monkey Temple, uh, West Ma, Topper Lai, Topper Ruari Puri, North Cape Postman, sir, or like any Friday, Saturday, also like a bunny. Nepali Momo, your Aflakan Malai, Kanikuru, or Gorera. As a food cook with my Sandar with Bobo, your message. Actually, it's Sandy. Food quiz of your busy. Sandy, I'm a mile with the restaurant in the Sudai, Nepal. Ah, Nepal restaurant. Nepal restaurant, Nepal restaurant, Nepal restaurant, the double restaurant, sir, I'll suffer them back to business. So, everybody, right? Danda Namanikana, very. No, earlier the Sibila. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, I'm going to quiz interactive, interesting. I'm going to go to the session. I'm going to go to the session. I'm going to go to the So, after the food, food quiz, I hope everybody is hungry. Thank you for joining. As a maximum, I have 27 attendees. Have a good evening and have a good weekend. It's Thursday already. Again, I'm going to go to the next one. Thank you, everybody.
Vanessa, Romani, pourquoi c'est un rêve 